Greetings, MTA, and thank you to your president, Mary Najimi, and your vice president, Max Page, for inviting me to be with you. My name is Sarah Nelson. I'm the international president of the Association of Flight Attendants, representing 50,000 flight attendants at 20 different airlines, and I'm so incredibly honored by this Friend of Labor Award that you have decided to give to me. It's unbelievable, especially because I am a Boston-based union flight attendant for 24 years who previously lived in Fenway and the North End and all of Red Sox Nation. I have amazing memories from Massachusetts and I carry them with me always. Educators and school staff are everyday heroes, now more than ever. So I really would like to start by saying thank you to you, to all of you, and especially to the rank and file of MTA. When my son Jack's public school closed here in Maryland, and I honestly didn't know what to expect. But in Maryland and in Massachusetts and in states all over the country, teachers knew what to do. They knew how to band together to take care of the kids. And I know in this time of crisis, union educators are fighting to ensure that students have what they need. I have read how cafeteria workers and bus drivers across the country have completely retooled to provide meals so our kids don't go hungry. I know MTA has worked hard to ensure that educators' voices were heard in setting up distance, distance learning, the use of technology, and all the unique issues we're facing during this pandemic. Through it all, you've shown what working people united in solidarity can achieve. And solidarity is what carried Dedham teachers through two years of negotiations and into a strike that forced the administration to back to, back to the table for a fair deal. Solidarity is what propelled the Student Opportunity Act forward and ensured that educators would have a seat at the table. Solidarity is what helped beat back privatization and reject question two on the ballot not so long ago that I voted on too. And solidarity is what you show when you bring to life Black Lives Matter at school week. Solidarity is a force stronger than gravity. It lifts all of us up. I went to school to be a teacher, but my first year teacher salary would only cover my student loans if I also continued to wait tables on the weekends. And so I decided to manage a range of personalities at 30,000 feet instead of in the classroom. But with my teacher training and now my son in elementary school, it's been a thrill to join educators in red t-shirts on picket lines across the country over the past couple years. Before I can accept this award, I must applaud you for leading the revival of our labor movement. We have a lot of work to do in the coming months. Unions are the key not just to overcoming the pandemic, but to ensuring the economic recovery recognizes that yes, Teachers and flight attendants and healthcare workers and food service workers and so many others are essential. Essential workers in this country who create all the value that our country enjoys. If we stick together in solidarity and refuse to allow the pirating private equity profiteers to divide us, we can change this country for our students, for our families, and for all workers. So thank you, MTA. I stand with you today and always.